I visited Kanazawa recently and the museum of the 21st century definitely didn't disappoint. The architecture is brilliant. Small, forgotten cities around the world have, over the last two decades, discovered that a museum, a museum of modern art, can help them transform their little provincial town into a global attraction. As a building, the architecture has transformed the idea of a museum quite dramatically. On first glance, the building looks deceptively simple. A 112.5 meter diameter circle, in which a variety of mostly squarish boxes and one circular exhibition space have been inserted. Visitors wander in and out of these boxes, in which a few pieces of modern art are placed. The whole experience of space, despite its apparent simplicity, is rather complex and has an urban feeling to it. From the enclosed box, the visitor arrives at the square, exterior courtyard, and a glass-roofed corridor passes through Patrick Leblanc's vertical garden gate. There are benches with views towards the outside park. People seem to love the building. Arguably, the main attraction is a permanent exhibition by Leandro Ehrlich. The swimming pool looks like a pool and visitors enter it from below. But instead of being underwater, they notice that above them a thin layer of water floats above an acrylic plate which creates an optical illusion of being inside a pool. This proves to be perfect Instagram material. In the park surrounding the museum, there is the Color Activity House by Olafur Ellison. And a bubbly folly that looks like the Teshima Harbour building and it acts like a life-size Instagram filter of the architecture. One thing is for sure, the Museum of Modern Art has proven to be a revivalist dream for all those sleepy, forgotten provincial towns.